forward. If you guys are on, just comment. Oh, good God. Whatever. But I wanted to pop on live to keep you guys posted. And um, for any questions you guys may or may not have. I know that my live schedule is kind of everywhere. I have a lot going on. Um, both my kids are graduating. One's graduating high school. One's graduating middle school. Between finals. Stevie being accepted to college. Doing all of his financial aid stuff. It's a mess. So I've been kind of crazily busy. But I wanted to answer any of your guys' questions. Uh, for whatever you guys may have. Whether it's autoimmune dentures or what. And I think I might get better lighting. It's in the evening, guys. Lighting kind of sucks. So, hey guys. <laughs> I'm starting to see everybody pop on now. Uh, make sure you guys comment down in the chat so I know you're here and I can talk to you guys. Hey Carly, girl, I haven't seen you in ages. I was just thinking about you the other day. Like, it's been ages. Yeah, so in case you guys didn't see that video I posted real quick, um, it's to update you guys that when I saw my dentist yesterday, even he said, my TMJ joint is tight, bro. And even he's like, he's like, you're not wearing your dentures overnight, right? I'm like, you're preaching to the choir, man. And... Well, I'm glad I finally all got finished. Do you have anything else left? Is it top or bottom? I always thought pulling teeth, honestly, it was the worst up top. But that's also because I had a massive infection that was insane. But yeah, when I saw my dentist yesterday, um, besides I have to do TMJ exercises, do not wear your dentures overnight, guys. Somebody told me, oh, my dentist told me to keep them in 24-7. Who would say that to you? I have never heard of a dentist ever telling somebody, wear a device in your mouth, cause thrush, cause infections beyond belief, and all adverse infections, you know, reactions that you can get from wearing them all the time. Hey, Susan. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, Carly, I always say that when you first get your dentures they're gonna look the best they're gonna be a lot of people think because denture products say whitening on it that it's gonna be whiter than the color you chose no it only lifts stains that's all it does they're just using fancy words to con people into buying their stuff so make sure you guys know that it's not gonna make your stuff whiter it'll just bring it back to the color that you chose oh I came just in time or you already saw your dentist, then I just missed you. But I always tell people when you do your wax try-ons, always make sure you take pictures of you smiling with them in your mouth so you can see the bite and the the midline has to be like on point. Too many people tell me after when they get their dentures, oh, they're, the bite is off, what do I do? Nothing, you signed. Once you sign, you'd have to pay for a whole new set of dentures. So always take a picture of your smile with them in your mouth and individually out of your mouth. So when they come back to you, and they're not exactly how you wanted it, you have proof to back you up. <laughs> Carly, which shade was it? The bleach shades start with BL. Like, BL isn't bleached. And they're like supersonic white, bro. Like, they're like so white, you can't see anybody but their smile. So when people are like, Heather, what do I do if I don't want people looking at my smile? Don't get the brightest shade. <laughs> don't. I always keep it as a neutral color so people think that they're real. And if they're too white, people are going to think that they're fake. Yeah, Susan, I hear people say that a lot. And what do I tell everybody? Dentures aren't in the back of your throat to make you gag. So it's, it's all psychological, it really is. But when you're reading everything online about how it makes people gag, people subconsciously fixate on it. And it makes you gag. Just like when you have too much saliva in your mouth. It's your body trying to break it down thinking it's food. It goes away over time. If you keep taking out your denture because 
you're getting gagging or over salivating, you're never going to get used to your dentures. Never. Because the dentures are in a top palate. It's not in the back of our throat. So it's not physically what's causing it. It's a mental game. I always say this journey is way more mental than physical. Yeah, if it's the whitest shade, though, that means it's still the freaking brightest. It's one shade below bleached, which I think is A1. It's different because each dentist's office, I feel like, has it labeled differently from what I've noticed in the last five years. So, if it's, like, massively white and people are used to seeing you with no massive white, that means people are going to be staring at your teeth often. But when people get used to it, like, I live in a small town. People already know I have dentures. But when it comes to the top, the bottom's always covered by your lips most of the time anyway. When you smile, you don't really see the bottom. It's always the top. But I would say if you live in a major city, it kind of sucks. But if you live in a small town, people eventually get used to it anyway. Hey, Jocelyn. Thank you. Yeah, whatever you do, like, it's always a mental thing. When it comes to gagging, it's it's 99%. It's in the 1% range where a dentist made them too long, past the molars kind of long, and it's, like, in your throat. And that's, like, super beyond rare that a dentist is that to where they do that. So, I always tell people, if you're gagging, you got to keep them in. Focus on something else. Because what's making you gag is when you pop them in. And even before you pop them in, you're thinking about gagging. Which is what's causing the gagging. So, I always tell people, put on your favorite song. Put on your favorite show. Put on your favorite movie. Doesn't matter. Put on your favorite anything. Think of anything. Talk to your favorite person. It will distract your mind. Distracting your mind is the most important thing in the first couple of months of dentures. <laughs> Carly. So they look great right now because I'm wearing a white shirt. Yeah, but if you wear like black or oh my god, you wear hot pink girl, those are gonna be bold. Sorry guys, I'm just reading the comments. But I always tell people you can't be a part time denture wearer. You're just not going to wear dentures because you may or may not gag from something you're thinking too much of. You can't live like that. You just can't. So you got to keep them in your mouth. Go live your life. The gagging will stop once you stop thinking so much about it. And that's the problem. We are our own worst enemy. I say it all the time to too many people. We are our own worst enemy. Well, you know my email, girl. You can always email it to me. But I know with, like, mine, mine's not the brightest and whitest. Mine's completely natural shade color. But I think I'm going to go up whiter. But the problem is I don't want to go up too white. So I don't know. I got to figure that out. But um, my dentist just put in my approval for my hard reline. Because I've had my top denture for four years and a few months. My bottom denture for a little over two years. So the insurance company will absolutely approve, you know, getting the hard reline. So hopefully, because um, he's like, I want you to use less soft reliner. You shouldn't need that much. And you're always going to have gum shrinkage. And people are like, oh my God, I lost a lot of bone. I promise you, bone just doesn't disappear. The only thing you lost was teeth. And then the bone that you had around it comes in and fills the holes. That's what gives you that thin line. Because the teeth is what made it bulky. Teeth or bone. So you don't lose bone unless you're losing the teeth. Other than that, it just thins out through the time. Because it's, you know, bone doesn't disappear. It just doesn't. You can lose density. But bone itself just doesn't up and disappear. I need to find better lighting because this is irritating me. Whoop, tripped over my own feet. I don't know who else has done that in their life, but I do it a lot. 
All right, let me know if you guys can hear me. But yeah, I haven't been, I go online at least, I go live once a week. And it's been a, probably a little over that. Yesterday, oh my gosh, yesterday I've been trying to keep up with making sure I exercise an obscene amount. You know, they usually say 5,000 steps is the average, but to me, how the hell is anybody surviving doing 5,000 steps? I've always done 20,000, I shit you not. I was always active. I never sat down until right before bed. But because of all the clots and everything I went through, I have to retrain myself, which is god-awfully painful. This has got to be the most painful journey I've ever had in my life. I hope it gets better. But between all my swelling and water weight and everything, it's just... I'm kind of over it. So I've been immersing myself into the denture world because better off that way. But yeah, I get t this tons of comments. See, what's weird is people ask me questions all the time and I answer them because everybody says the same thing. If you go into my comment section to read what people say, 90% of the time everybody says the same thing, just different way of saying it. But the problem is, is doing what I say, which may be easy, it's not easy for everybody. And when you get stuck in a routine that's not healthy for you or your dentures, that opposes a problem. Like when somebody asks me, she's like, why do I keep getting thrush, blah, blah, blah. She was using, oh, fuck, what was that product? She was using, like, a denture adhesive or, I remember now. She was using a denture actual paste, like a toothpaste, but for dentures only, inside of her mouth. And she wanted to know why she was getting dry mouth and, and acted like Sarah Bernhardt. But she was like, you know, I have dry mouth, I have this, so I have an autoimmune disease. And I'm like... 80% of the time, it's not an autoimmune disease. It's got to be something up. And that's when I figured out what she was doing. And I was like, girl, denture products are made just for dentures. Like, when you guys ever hear me tell people to use salt, warm water, for the, like the first two weeks, you do it four times a day. After that, you do it twice a day. But for the first two weeks, salt, warm water, right? People leave their dentures in. How is that going to help your sockets? The salt warm water is to heal the sockets itself. So that's why I always try to be in detailed as much as I can. As best I can. Like at this point, I just repeat myself. That's all I ever do. But there's a lot of times people just don't want to put in the effort. Or they were hoping I'd say something easy so they could do something easy. There's no magical way of getting used to dentures. It's all denture security. You wear your dentures from like say 8 a.m. hypothetically to 8 p.m. You wear them all day up until you go to bed. And it's all about security of denture if you want to eat whatever you want to eat. If you eat anything, if you want to eat everything possible, you have got to make sure those dentures don't move. So you need to make sure you stay on top of soft reliners. And if you need an adhesive, which usually in immediate dentures you do, at least in the first six months. Because um, it really depends on the person. But if you use, like, Fix It on Ultramax, because it's known it is the strongest adhesive. It says it all over the world. Um, that'll hold those babies in and they won't move. If you do the trick that I've taught myself, and I put it all over the internet for the last five years, that when you, instead of the blobs that they tell you to freaking do for adhesive... Just put a whole thin layer, thin layer, on the entire inside of the denture. Denture walls, denture trough, where your gums sit, palate if it's a top denture. The whole inside of the denture. Put it in your mouth. Please wait 45 minutes before you eat or drink. That's the only way because you have gaps. Water's going to come in and melt it. It's never going to dry. So you have to wait 45 minutes before you eat or drink. Boom, those babies ain't going to come out. That's why I made videos on how to take out your denture if they won't come out. Which happened to me many times. And I remember when I posted that video for the first time, one of the guys was like, thank you. I was going to ask you, well, girl, you told me how to get them in my mouth and stay there. But he didn't tell me how to take them out. 
And I was like, yeah, I realized that when I couldn't get my own denture out of my mouth. Like, it was there, bro. But that's the only way to get your dentures to be able to eat whatever you want in the beginning. Until you learn mouth control and to control your denture, that's the only way is to make sure it's tight in place. And then you can eat whatever you want. So when people ask me, what was my secret at a month of being able to eat corn on the cob, burgers, all that, fix it on Ultramax. Make a thin layer, stay on top of the soft reliners once a month for the first year. They got to be done once a month. Maybe the bottom has to be done once a month. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. But anywhere between a month or two for the top. It really just depends on how quick your healing is. But it usually takes over a year. Like, I shit you not, it's over a year. Sorry, guys, things are going off. I'm trying to fix it. But I just want to come on and see if you guys had any questions. Any videos you guys want me to do? There's some how-to videos I want to um, do. But I mainly do shorts now. Because video-wise, nobody really wants to sit down and watch a 10 to 20 minute long video. They'd rather go on shorts, but the problem is, is everybody's on shorts now. And unless you're subscribed to me, you ain't going to see them. It's really annoying. Like, YouTube definitely has its favorites. And it's really hard for small creators like me to get our stuff out there. But, I mean, it's a dental world. It's dentures. The community's not that big, man. Well, if you like long-form videos, knock yourself out. I posted many. <laughs> but usually people don't. You could tell by the views that people prefer. Like, my shorts get triple the views opposed to long-form videos. Because people just want to hear the answer. They got no patience for shit anymore. There's a... Man, there's so much stuff I would like to tell you guys, but I probably shouldn't. Um, but, I mean, as for, like, cleaner-wise, the only ones that I've stayed to is the consistent ones of Fresh and Bright. Um, what is that called? Freaking... Why can I never remember that cleaner that I do in my mouth all the time? It'll come to me eventually. But I don't use Dr. B products anymore. I haven't in well over a year. <laughs> I'm glad somebody does. My memory is crap when you got 50 things like flying in it. Um, but yeah, when it comes to reliners, having essential oils and products is a Debbie Downer for a soft reliner. Because it's slick. Oily? Everybody knows not to put oily stuff on your dentures. And my soft reliners wouldn't stay. They didn't have a long life. And ever since I stopped using Dr. B's, my top reliner lasted like eight months. So, fresh and bright I've always stuck by. Period. Ever since I've had extractions, I've compared and contrasted. Fresh and bright is the best cleaner for dentures. It is like squeaky damn freaking clean. And it like, man, it just takes away stains super good. You don't even have to put much effort into it. But when, you, when you're using essential oils with soft reliners and you're cleaning it with that and then you put a soft reliner on top of that, that's why some people, even I know, is asking me, listen, why is my reliner lifting? That's because Dr. B stuff has essential oils in it and that's why the reliners aren't sticking. So, if you're going to do a reliner, I don't recommend using it for that day. I would recommend using something else. But... People always ask me, nobody can really afford a whole lot of stuff and do a whole line of anything, which is understandable. I'm on a budget too. So now I just use Fresh and Bright and that freaking damn cleaner I can't remember the name of. It's literally once a week you're supposed to use it for and it lifts stains within five minutes. It's like perfect. So that's why if you guys have looked at my videos for the last year, I have not made one Dr. B video. And plus, I think they work with affordable dentures now. We all know how I feel about affordable dentures. I think they take advantage of people. But I have never been a sellout. I have never been a person to 
do whatever somebody else wants me to do. No, I did this because I was to help other people and give them the facts and truth. That was it. And I'm not going to change who I am for anything. Yeah, but, I mean, it's pointless to use it if you're only going to use it once a week. So, Fresh and Bright is cheap. Just go on Amazon, get Fresh and Bright. It used to be at Walmart, but it's not my Walmart anymore. When Walmart did a whole freaking revamp, you guys got to look at that video I did around Christmas time. That month I did it, or the month before, um, where they totally revamped it. The aisles now, you can't fit a two-way traffic in the aisles anymore. You have to literally wait for the slow people to, like, move so you can get in there. It sucks. Like, it really sucks. So they got rid of a lot of their products. And, of course, denture shit went first. So, it sucks, but you can always get the stuff offline. And don't forget, there's Walmart.com where you can get everything off there. But always check the prices and ounces. Because there's people, you guys got to understand, the Walmart does it, Amazon does it, eBay does it. They let any seller come on. So, I always make sure it's coming from Amazon, it's coming from Walmart itself. Um, I don't buy from small, independent people. A lot of them, how do I know this? Because people have contacted me. But a lot of people pay or give free products for a better review. And many people have asked me to done that, and I won't do it, so. But if you're on a budget, Fresh and Bright is, is the best cleaner. It is. It lifts stains effortlessly. Like, you know how you can run your t tongue across your teeth, and you can feel whether it's got, like, plaque, tartar, or whatever? It is so slick and smooth all the time. It's amazing. I also dropped them a couple times online. Um, I don't remember how long ago that was. But when I was doing a video, um, I was cleaning my denture and it just dropped. This is why I always carry and keep a washcloth underneath my denture while I'm cleaning it. First of all, never do it in the sink because you'll drop it, you're screwed. So I do it on the counter and I put a washcloth there, I double it up. So if anything happens... Well, in the video, you see it doubling, and you just immediately see my face drop. Like, I'm like, crap, and I'm trying to catch it, and immediately just stayed on the washcloth. So I was like, thank God. My biggest fear is dropping and breaking my dentures. Man, if I have a lot of stories for you guys. Like, when people tell me they lose them in their couch, their dog ate it, their kid broke it and ate it. You guys can't be part-time denture wearers, because you know what you go through in the first month, which sucks? You're going to go through that every day of your life for the rest of your life. Being a part-time denture wearer. You have to be a full-time denture wearer to succeed. Or it's going to be a royal pain in the ass. But you guys got to understand, denture aside, there's a reason why we have teeth to begin with. Because we're not supposed to be eating on our jaw. It will damage the jaw permanently. And so many people just only wear it for just smiling in a picture... Instead of eating, which is going to damage their jaw. And it has happened to many people. Or when people say, you know, I didn't really take you seriously when you said that. I don't make the videos for shits and giggles, people. <laughs> I'm like, of course it's going to cause damage. Hey, Laura. Yeah, I know, right? Listen, I've seen a lot of people that have been on YouTube denture-wise, um, like Denture Darling. She was eating nuts, and she broke her denture. Dude, it's one of the common things you should never supposed to eat with dentures, is any kind of nut. Because, listen, when you eat, you eat in the same spot, the same thing, wear and tear, it'll crack, break teeth, pull the teeth out, or break the denture. And I feel like us being denture YouTubers, we need to lead by example. Oh, for a minute, Carly, I thought you said you were not going to use them. I'm like, girl, why'd you go through all that then? <laughs> yeah, washcloth saves it. 
And people ask me where I got mine. I only got them at Dollar General. But they're a thicker white one, which is greatly beneficial. Because because of that, it doesn't bounce if it drops out of my hand, which it's done tons of times. And every time, I'm still mortified. But you gotta look for that video so you guys can see what I'm... Man, I freaking... Leave it to me to make videos and just have a public reminder of not to drop your denture. Yeah, Brandy, definitely get them. I've seen a lot of people not get their dentures for years. And then when they go to get their dentures, they've eaten on their jaw and damaged their jaw so much, you're not going to have much jawbone left. Yeah, there's a reason why insurance companies give you dentures. Even state insurance, they give you a permanent denture. They don't do immediates, they do permanents. Well, that's because you need to eat. So, make sure you guys wear your freaking dentures, please. And denture cleaners only go on the dentures. And also, too, when you're brushing your own gums, which, man, are they sensitive. It feels like neuropathy hell. Because it's like a bunch of, like, tingly sensitivity. Like, almost like when you get tickled, it feels like that. But the toothbrush can actually cause positive circulation in, you know, the area and help heal and keep it in well, great, amazing condition. Yeah, Brandy, they wouldn't even do that for me. That's why I got my eight taken out. Add eight from here to here. And because um, the root canal costs more and doing a partial, they were like, just take the eight teeth out because one full denture is cheaper. It's grimy, right? Um, can I write my email in here? Oh, do you ever feel like you're about to pop something? Is it going to let me write in here? Probably not. Why? It lets me write everywhere else but in here. No, that's weird. Um, it won't let me write in here, girl. But if you go on any of my videos, it's in the description of every video. Oh, I have a whole assortment of different brushes I can use. There's one that promotes circulation is what I wanted. My dentist recommended it. And he's like, you want to have your dentures last long and your jaw last long to where you don't need bone stuff put in? He's like, circulation is the number one key. Um, a baby toothbrush probably won't help your gums at all. They're good for dentures getting in the crevices using a baby brush or like a toddler one. But for your gums, you just use a regular adult one because it has better um, like bristles to it. Even though you're supposed to use soft anyway, but it has better movement for better circulation. Girl, I'm almost 40. Actually, I'm going to be 38 this year. Time went by when you're suffering, man. My son brought it up to me. He goes, Mom, since you were 20 and up, your medical... And everything you suffered. It's like you suffered most of your life. I'm like, yeah, I know, kid. Thanks. Thanks for the reminder. And by the way, all could have been fixed. If my primary was a better primary. Is what it is. But, you know, I, I was talking to actually quite a few people. Um, it ended up being one chat and then everybody chatted together. But this journey for, like, dentures and stuff is way more harder mentally than physically. Physical, it gets better. Mental, it does not. And people psych themselves out, whether it's extra saliva, which goes away in a couple of weeks anyway, and gagging. If you distract your mind, you won't gag. Um, it's like James, who is my moderator and my thing. He used to have a gagging problem. 
he does it now when I told him to distract his mind. And that worked out for him. <clears throat> but whatever journey you want out of this, one, it's, it's all on you. I can't do all the work. I wish I could for you guys, but I can't. So all I could do is give you the inside of how I did it. And what can work and what people never spoke about. Before I hit the denture world, which probably shook the community, everybody was just talking about what they liked with no facts involved at, at all. Which drove me nuts, by the way. I'm a very factual person and I go around that. But I was the only one that brought facts and the truth. And I always tried to do my best to help small companies if they were good. <laughs> it really depends. I wasn't like everybody else. I wanted people to have the truth. Like, how are you going to talk about a product if it sucks? Because I understand, like, cushion grip companies, they even tried to buy me out. It ain't going to work. And, or they give them free product instead of paying them. Which is terrible. But, like, if you're depending on... YouTubers to build your company up and you're not paying them. That's kind of grimy because that means they did all your advertising But it's not just them it was a ton of people that did it But when I brought came into the community It sucks because I had a favorite denture youtuber. She's no longer Doing YouTube and she hasn't for like two years Or maybe more than that. I don't know time freaking flies by all the time but nobody spoke about stuff or how-to videos or anything like that. They were just commercials. And now I feel like people are turning into drama channels. Which is, I'm not about that life, bro. I am way too old for this shit. Um, I definitely wouldn't use an electric toothbrush because I look at it this way. Why spend more money when it's not necessary? You just use your own hands. <laughs> Thanks, Carly. It. No matter what happens to me, the, my YouTube videos will always be up there because I don't want my channel to go anywhere. There are so many people that if they want facts, they can watch my channel and watch the videos. But I deserve that. I don't want to put my opinion unless people ask me for my opinion. I wanted to give people all sides so they can make their own choices. Like Benzodent. Benzodent might have helped with pain, which it did. But it has benzocaine in it, which is dangerous. And it can cause death. And I wanted people to have all the information, all the facts, so they can make their own choice. And not be like, man, I wouldn't be hospitalized if I only knew the truth. Because most people don't read the labels. It's true. Because when I made that video for the first time, people didn't even believe me. And I was like, look at your damn boxes, guys. Come on, man. It's a big black label FDA warning on it. And they're doing that to cover their ass in case something happens. But... I just believe in everybody making their own choices. But don't... And it sucks with denture products. It really does. Because when you get used to a routine and you have a routine, there's probably other products out there that are better or whatever. But you're stuck on your routine because that's what you started with. Like when people thought Polydent was good. I'm like, have you tried anything else? They're like, no, this one was just the best. How can you say it's the best if you didn't try everything else? And I remember sending this one woman, at, well, it was married a couple, um, fixing an Ultramax, and they freaking adored it. They're like, dude, I couldn't even get my denture out. That was the best feeling in the world. It really is. It's a small wins for denture people. But when your dentures are rocking, when they're moving, when they're doing whatever, you need to do soft reliners. The answer is always soft reliner. It really is. Well, a manual you can control, an electric just goes up and down. 
Um, so when you do, when you have no teeth, doing circular motions to help circulation is probably the better option. And plus it's cheaper. Why go out there and buy something big, you know? Sorry guys, I'm just reading people's stuff. See, Laura, if it's one of your anchor teeth, I always tell people, when you have a partial, be careful. Because the anchor teeth of where it grips onto, the partial denture, um, when it hooks onto your actual real teeth, wherever they are, they rub up against and they destroy the enamel of the real teeth. So always make sure, and I tell people, make sure you crown those teeth. Because they can rub up against the freaking crown all at once and won't damage your real teeth. Too many people I've seen... And even my dentist warned me about it, which I already knew about it. If you don't crown them, it will damage it. So now you have to get those teeth taken out. And it's going to be the next thing. And you're going to eventually have no more teeth left. That's what stinks about it all. Sorry, guys. I dropped you. Well, yes, I do agree Medicaid sucks. I'm one of the biggest people that will ever say that because they do. They made me get rid of eight healthy teeth because they were cheap. They don't give two shits about people. But, I mean, I didn't expect them to ever, when he said, well, we're going to check with the insurance, they usually approve them at this point. I'm like, really? Because you always told me that they don't approve shit. He's like, no, they have been lately. And I was like, worth a shot, bro. If they want to do a hard reliner, because there's a lot of space. It was five years ago. So there's a lot of space on my top. And even he said that my suction is amazing for the top, but it's still more reliner than he wants me to use. It's still a normal amount that comes with the reliner. But he wants me to use very little. He wants me to use a thin layer and have mainly the denture. And because of, you know, the bone loss and gum shrinkage, and when everything thins out, my body's a very slow healer, given all my diseases. So it takes time. But the teeth are going higher up instead of where they're supposed to be. So, also, I get my new teeth in a couple of years, which I'm going to do an entire video on that and talk you guys through the stages of going through it. You know what I mean? Like doing the bite block, doing the midline, doing the wax try-ons, everything. It's all going to be individualized videos um, to at least help you guys prepare to do all this. But I am going to redo my teeth entirely. Like, I want my canines to be more prominent than they are now because what they were back when I had teeth they were prominent you know they were actual things so I'm gonna detail my dentures and design them better yeah Laura I figured it was one of the anchor teeth and that's what sucks give them them that that sucks it's always anchor teeth So, it's an anchor tooth that's already crowned. Because I want to know how the hell it went through that. Well, hard reliner and soft reliner is different. So, when it comes to soft reliner, it really depends on the partial. Even you said it. It really depends. So if you have a partial that is mainly just back teeth and hooks to the front, that's normal. That can be done. Hard and soft reliner. When it's like spaced out like every other tooth is a denture and not, and that will be a big freaking fat no to hard or soft reline that one. So it really depends on the structure of your partial. Carly, I've been saying that for years, bro. And people say, what's a positive? I'm like, no more infections. No more horrible shit dental pain in your mouth ever again. Can you still get them from not taking care of your teeth, like getting thrush? 
Yes. But is it going to be a bad dental infection where it can go to your brain? No. As long as you keep your mouth clean and your dentures clean, you'll be good to go. You mean 17th on the left and 2 on the right? Or, yeah, I'm not sure which one you meant left to. Do you have all the front teeth, Laura? Oh. So you have 7 on the right, 2 on the left. Well, the right side would still be able to be hard and soft relined. So you have all your front teeth then. That's actually the easiest partial to have, is to just have it, like, even from here to here. But you got to crown them all, all the healthy teeth. So, technically, you don't have front teeth. They're a bridge. A bridge is something I would have loved to have. It is basically dentures, but not. It gets screwed in, and it doesn't come out unless they take it out. Um... Think of it this way. It's kind of like a snap-on denture without the snaps. It just stays in, screwed in. It doesn't come out. You can brush them normally, do everything normally. Which is actually pretty freaking awesome. I look at it this way. When it comes to picking your color, it's always supposed to be going by skin color. It's always what my dentist taught me. So he'll put the shades, like my dentist, he put the shades up to my skin color, and I'm olive. I am an olive skin tone. So he'll put it up there, and he'll be like, this one looks the best. Do you agree? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And that's how mine got picked out. So mine look is as natural as you can possibly have them. Yeah, what sucks is, is when you get root canals, um, they don't last long, by the way. And my husband got his one tooth on the left root canal, but now he's starting to get pain. Which, I know what that means. His tooth is going to have to come out. It sucks because food gets into them. They don't stay super glued and tight in there forever. Even an ounce of food. Any bacteria goes in there, you're screwed. People think when they do a root canal, they take out the root. No, they don't. That's not how that works. Have a good night, Laura. Be good. And keep me posted what happens. Enjoy your trip, girl. Have fun. I always say you need a vacation from your vacation. Every time I've ever gone on vacation, I've been more tired. Because you're running around doing so much stuff. No, Carly, um, I would say because you're in the first week, sleep in your dentures. Uh, was the top or bottom you got done? I can't remember. Um, but if you have a full denture, whatever you had the 11 extractions done on, keep the dentures in tonight because the swelling can prevent them from going back in when you take them out. So I always tell people for the first week, keep them in at nighttime. After the first week, you know, for the rest of your life, um... Make sure that they come out. They have to. They absolutely need to come out. And no, what's great is I was always a, um, well, that, that sucked. But I was always a tooth grinder. Eventually later on in my life. And um, when I took out my dentures out at night, they didn't affect anything. So make sure you take out your dentures after one week from extractions. Because when you have... Yeah, when you have, um, so I would definitely keep them in for the first week. Just make sure you take them out four times a day to clean the denture and your mouth. Only salt, warm water rinse your mouth. Don't go brushing anything. It's, denture world is annoying. It really is. But you get, you, you really do get used to it. I used to worry about all that stuff all the time. Like, am I going to forget stuff? No, you don't forget. Not even a little. 
But for the first week, keep them in so the swelling doesn't get so bad that when you do take them out, they don't go back in. But make sure you take out your denture four times a day because you've got to salt or water rinse as you're cleaning the denture because bacteria happens. And you don't want dry socket. No straws, girl. Don't drink from straws. You will get dry socket. That's basically a guarantee. My color, I want to say, was B2 or B1. One of those. And they're only a shade apart from each other, so... Either one. But you really need to go... Like, if you're pale, you can't go with a B2. Because it won't look natural. You'd have to go for a brighter color. So it all depends on the skin tone. If you're darker skinned... Like, you can get away with B1, B2. Not BL1, because those are different shades. Those are bleach shades. Those are going to be brighter than... The sun. Like, I shit you not. They're going to be bright. Like, I know so many people that didn't realize how white theirs was going to be. And they wanted to change it. And the dentist is like, yeah, nope. You can't. You made them permanent. You said make them permanent. You signed off. Once you sign off, when you do immediate dentures, you can pick the color only. So there is where you could tell when you do a bright color. If you want to do bright or go down a shade. You know, if you do a permanent denture, you're stuck with that forever. They're not going to redo it because they already said to make it permanent. They'd have to go through the whole process all over again. And that is not going to be on their dime because you want to change the color. So always make sure it's the color you want to be, but they will put it up to your skin tone. Because that's how it's supposed to be. Too many people are getting, like, bleached colors. And... If you're dark and you get a bleached color, that's going to look more bleached than somebody who is, like, pure white. Like, I mean, porcelain doll white, like my sister. That girl, I don't know where she got her color from. It wasn't from the Sicilian side. But, you just be sure. Make sure you put everything to your skin tone. Without makeup on, guys. <laughs> yeah, if you're more in the porcelain doll stage, like my sister is. You don't want to do a dark color because it's going to look darker. So I would stick to the lighter colors because that'll look normal for you. See, Carly, maybe we were like separated at birth or you're my long lost something. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm Sicilian and Toscana. I'm also Brazilian. So... And my son, holy moly, Stevie, who's turning 18 in like five days, um, which I don't even know what to do for his birthday. I'm having a panic attack. We won't get into that because I'll stress out more. But he's Puerto Rican, Italian, and Brazilian. Me and him have bets in the summertime who can be the darkest. I won last year. But usually it's a pretty damn good freaking battle on who's going to win. guys I'm dropping you again huh I can put user in timeout that's great it's like freaking childhood all over again all right guys I'm gonna go because it's been almost an hour Well, not all Italians have darker skin tone. I would say it's more Sicilian. Because um, there are a lot of pale Italians out there. It really depends. If you were more up north, you're not going to have olive skin in any way. See, we are related, Carly. I'm telling you. But I'm probably going to go... You've never seen a picture? Um... How about this week? Okay. What day is this? Tuesday? I'm trying to remember everybody's schedule. It's either I'm going to do it... Because they also see their father once this week. Well, they usually do. 
I have sole custody. But I want to see either Thursday or Friday. I'm going to come on live and I'm going to introduce you to Stevie. Stevie looks like me. Oh, please don't tell him that though, Carly, because everybody keeps telling him how handsome he is and his head's getting pretty big. I'm like, dude, humble, humble pie. And he goes, it, it's crazy because I'm swollen. So I can't wait till this inflammation goes down once my thyroid gets fixed. I want to show you guys how swollen I get. Freaking lighting. Um, I, I'm all swollen. It's bad. Like, I'm super swollen. But hopefully when my thyroid gets better and everything, I can go back to my normal small self. It's so annoying, Don. But me and him look a lot of like. He definitely has my eyes. But don't tell him how good looking he is, please. It's not going to go well for me. Yeah, like even when we'd go to church, freaking every old person would tell Stevie how handsome he was. And then he'd be like, I'm awesome. Girl, I'm sad he's going to college. It sucks. Now I know what the older people felt like. Now I understand. It sucks. It went so quick. Alright guys, I'm gonna go. My fucking back's killing me. Um, what time is it? Oh shit. Okay. Um, by the way, the sun sets, I'm, I'm in upstate New York, guys. The sun sets at like 740. That's pretty damn early for being April, but whatever. Oh my gosh, I know, Carly, everybody tells me that even beforehand. They're like, oh my gosh, Puerto Rican and Italian, that's such an amazing like combination. And even I've seen it in other people that have had kids. It's the complexion. The complexion is freaking gorgeous. Yeah, by me it's 636. Are you in the mountains? Because I know West Coast is three hours ahead of me. So you must be like Vegas or like Colorado area. Alright guys, I gotta go. I gotta make the little guys lunch anyway for tomorrow. But, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Be here this week, because I'll have Stevie come on. But, I love you guys. Wear your denture. Wear them. Clean them, because it's necessary. I love you guys. And when I do a live again this week, I'll do a giveaway. So, I'll see you guys then. Love you. Later. Be good.